Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and 2025 is here. Now a lot of you guys might not have your windows optimized for gaming and if you guys are facing any kind of issues and you want to boost your PC's performance to the maximum capacity, make sure to watch this video till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is heading over to settings. Once you are over here, you have to go into the system part. Then head over to display and then you have to scroll a bit down until you find advanced display settings. Over here, select your display one and then choose a refresh rate to the maximum possible. Then you have to set the display number two and if you have that, set it to the maximum refresh rate over here as well. Higher refresh rate means smoother frames. Next, you have to head to the storage section and then you have to make sure that storage sense is turned on. Then click on that and then make sure to turn on keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system files then enable this and then make sure to run storage sense every single day once that is done at the end click on run storage sense now and then go back to storage next you're gonna head down to personalization and then over here go down to background over here personalize your background you have to make sure to select a solid color and then you can choose any color this will give you better performance right off the start because keeping up desktop backgrounds might lead to performance issues this might not give you a lot of fps but might help you with some go back to personalize once you're here, go over to the color settings and then make sure to disable transparency effects. This will also help you to improve your PC's performance by a little bit. Also disable accent colors on start and taskbar and on the windows borders as well. Next head down to the app settings over here, head down to installed apps and start deleting the apps that you do not use frequently. These apps are consuming your storage and might be using system resources while running in the background. Disabling these apps will help you drastically. Like I don't use the mini V3 over here so what i can do is simply uninstall that once it's done click on ok next you wanna head down to the gaming settings and then go over to game bar and turn this thing off trust me you do not want this on because game bar runs an overlay on your pc and this overlay constantly consumes your cpu and ram utilization in the background not just that it keeps recording your games and clips it while you play and that feature might be causing fps issues instabilities and stuttering in the game and you wanna keep it off after that go down to game mode and turn this thing on so far i know game mode turned on will optimize your pc by reducing the number of applications running in the background it basically defocuses the applications which are no longer in use right after that head down to graphics and then click on change default graphics settings and over here you're gonna have to enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling or called hags second one you wanna enable is optimizations for windowed games this will help you to reduce your input latency once that is done go back to graphics and now you're gonna head to the browse button and go to the download location of your games over here add all of your games that you play frequently and you wanna have to click on the options and then select high performance for the games. This will help you to utilize your main GPU rather than your CPU based graphics. This will help you to improve your PC's performance and gaming performance drastically. After that come down to privacy and security, head over to the general settings and then you wanna have to disable every single one of these options right over here. Once done with that simply close settings. Now before moving ahead I would like to introduce you guys to hone.gg which you guys can download from the link in the description below it is a super useful tool which can help you optimize your PC for gaming. Once you download it and open it up, you guys can see a very simple interface like this where you guys have recommendations. You can simply head over to the optimizations tab and here are a few optimizations that can help you to reduce your input latency drastically. First one is optimize windows timer resolution that you guys can turn on. Second one is general windows optimizations that you're gonna have to turn on. Third one is Windows Power Plan that you're gonna have to turn on. Disable power throttling, disable game bar, disable hibernation. Then you have dedicated optimize mouse, optimize IO operations, disable power saving features. Once you're done applying all of these settings, you guys can simply click on restart now and then boot up your PC in a brand new Elite Gaming mode. Once again, I have left a link to home.gg down in the description below. And if you apply all of these settings, which I've shown in this video, it will definitely help you to improve your input latency see drastically so make sure to go check out home.gg from the link in the description below next step is disabling startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together and your task manager will open up right in front of you now head over to startup apps over here and start disabling all of the apps that you do not use right after the boot of your pc this will reduce the number of applications running in the background which will in turn reduce your last bios time that is the time taken by your pc to boot up and it will also help you to improve your system's performance while you're playing your games only 
only keep those applications that you use and remove the ones that you do not. After that, head over to the processes section. And now over here, if you play any kind of game, let's say right client is a game over here. You can right click on that, head over to resource values, head over to go to details. And once you are here, right click on this, set priority and set this thing to high. While you're playing your games, you have to select your game process and then set it to high. Setting this priority to high will help you to allot your system's resources to the game, which will in turn help you to improve your system's performance while you're playing the game. This reduces stuttering, frame drops, lags, and a lot more things. Next step is downloading Windows Optimization Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can simply download it from there or you can join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Over here, you'll find in eight simple folders and each of these folders have a significant role. So don't skip this step. Let's start with the first one that is Restore Point in which you'll find Create a Restore Point over here. Simply double click to open this thing up and then select Local Disk C and then click on Create. Name it Windows so you can remember that you have created this Restore Point. This is just a fail safe. If any of these registry settings might impact your PC negatively, then you will not have to go through reinstalling of your Windows or losing any important data. Do not skip creating the Restore Point. Simply close it once it's done. Second one is CPU Priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU Priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU Priority. If you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU Priority. This will help you to improve your CPU's performance, updating some D word values in the CPU's performance. It will help you to improve your CPU's performance. If you edit that in Notepad, you can see it changes the affinity, background only, the clock rate, scheduling category, SFIO priority, GPU priority, and normal priority. It helps you to improve your CPU's performance drastically, so make sure not to skip this one. Third folder is the RAM optimization, and it does the same thing but for your RAM. Over here, I have left a ton of presets for your PC. I have 32 GB RAM, and if you want to know your RAM, you can simply search for system information on your PC, and then you'll find install physical memory right over here. It is 32 GB for me, so I need to apply this registry, and it will set up the correct D word value for my RAM. It is different for every preset over here, so you can apply according to you and if that doesn't work out well you can always reset it back to default using this registry fourth one is the windows registry optimization where i have left four simple registries over here the first one is disabling dvr and it disables both dvr 1 and 2 so you can simply right click and run it as administrator merge all of these registry files onto your pc and it will help you to disable power saving features improve your response time and input output latency of your keyboard and mouse you can double click and run every single one of them and make sure that they're applied onto your PC. Fifth folder is command tweaks and over here I have left three command files. The first one is disabling memory compression. Since it consumes a lot of RAM resources and CPU resources in the background, memory compression does not really help you in gaming. You might want to try to turn this thing off by right clicking and running this as administrator and it will run this command that is disable MMA gen. Now if that doesn't work out well and you want to re-enable that, you can simply change this disable to enable, run it as administrator once again and it will enable that back again. Second Second one is disabling power saving on USB. And as you guys can see over here, it changes some power saving features onto your PC. And as you guys can see over here, it sets up your registry in a way that your USB ports will disable all kind of power saving features and enhance the power flow to improve your input latency. Third one is latency tweaks. And this one disable dynamic take high precision event timer and synthetic timers of your PC. These are very high resource consuming processes and Disabling them will help you to improve your input latency. Once you are done applying all three of them as administrators, go back into the sixth folder, which is clean up windows, in which I have left delete temporary files. You can right click on this as administrator, and this will start deleting all temporary files off of your PC. It helps you with reducing 1% frame loss and 0.5% frame loss on your PC. Next is disk cleanup. You have to open it up, select your local disk C, click on OK. This will find all kind of files that you can delete off of your PC. Make sure to include temporary files, recycle bin, shader cache, delivery optimization, and Windows error reports as well. And then click on OK. Then click on delete files. This will help you to free up disk space, which is really essential for your system's performance. Seventh folder is disabling unwanted services. And over here, I have left a ton of registry files. They will help you to disable Bluetooth service, core parking, downloading maps manager, extra unnecessary services, and a lot. Once again, if you use any kind of Bluetooth or printer devices, leave both of them and disable every single one of these services off of your PC. They are not really useful and disabling them will get you a ton of improvements in your FPS and gaming performance. 
Once again, if you want to re-enable any of them back, you can use the revert registries folder and re-enable them back onto your PC. Last is the useful programs folder in which I have left two exe files. First one is MSI Util V3. Run this as administrator. Now, you have to find your graphic card over here. Click on the MSI button next to it. And for the interrupt priority, set it to high. This will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupt, which will help you to improve the performance of your GPU. Second one is unpack CPU. You can open it up. You can open this application up and over here you'll see a very simple interface now what you have to do is locate your enabled cores in this application you guys will have to slide your core parking index all the way up to 100 and this will make sure to keep all of your cores enabled windows by default has a tendency to disable the cores which are no longer in use which might cause performance issues and frame loss in the game all of the cores enabled will help you to improve your gaming performance drastically once that is done close it and close the fps pack next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows over here and then select custom settings in the visual effects side over here you have to enable save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these are the four settings that you have to turn on which will keep your windows look intact while disabling all kind of unnecessary animations which are consuming your system's resources this might not give you a lot of frames but it will help you to stabilize and improve your system's smoothness and performance next you're gonna have to head on to the advanced settings then click on the change button under the virtual memory over here deselect automatically manage paging file size and then select your local disk c set the custom size to 1361 as it is a most optimal value that i have found and for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator now i was using 32 gb ram so i have to multiply that with 1024 to give me my memory in megabytes now once you have that you're gonna have to divide this value by two and the new value should be pasted in the maximum size then click on the set button over here and then click on ok virtual memory is a concept used by windows when your physical RAM is completely utilized and your game or any of the process is demanding more RAM, it uses your hard disk drive or your SSD as a virtual RAM. There is a safe limit to it which you have already applied and once that is done, click on OK. Next step, you're gonna have to head over to the mouse settings. So simply search for mouse settings over here and this will take you to Windows settings again. Head over to additional mouse settings and right over here, you will find something called pointer options. Then you have to locate enhanced pointer precision and then you have to disable that click on apply pointer precision is actually used for trackpads because it helps you to accelerate your mouse so disabling pointer precision will reduce your input latency and it will make your mouse movements one to one that means the amount of mouse you move on your desk is what the movement you can see on the screen nextly you have to head over to control panel and once you're over here, head over to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, click on your Ethernet right over here. Head over to its properties and then you have to disable all four of these options right over here. This will help you to improve your network's performance while you're playing the game. Click on OK, click on Properties once again and now you have to head over to the Configure section. Now, head down to Power Management and make sure to uncheck Allow this computer to turn off this device to save power. Then, down to Advanced Settings, you have to disable all kind of offload and flow control settings right over here copy these settings once that is done click on ok and then close these settings head back to your control panel and now what you have to do is search for power option simply type in power and then head over to power options over here you will be on a screen like this Click on show additional plans and you will find something called high performance over here click on that and then click on change plan settings now click on change advanced power plan settings and right over here go down head over to process power management and then minimum processor state should be set to 100 percent and maximum processor state should be set to 100 percent as well click on ok and then click on save these changes once it's done simply close this and now you guys can enjoy your pcs maximum performance in any games once again i hope this guide might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and i believe in you guys thanks a lot to all of the channel members who have been supporting the channel if you want your name on this screen make sure to click on the join button and then get the membership it really helps me out as well we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out